Yeah, look. It was like a walking ball of fur. I <laughs> know. I think it's like a Pomeranian or something. I thought that's a Mastiff. A Mastiff? That's like dogs, but that's like a dinosaur dog. This one's really cute. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't care. All I know is that I just wanted to eat this thing, okay? It was so cute. What? What? <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? Like what? <laughs> Whose jacket is that? Not mine. <laughs> then whose is it? Simon's. S Simon? Simon Petty. Simon Petty? Did he ask you out? Yeah. <laughs> then you said? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh, my god. oh finally. <laughs> you guys oh my are god, so... I'm so happy for you. Yeah, he's such a hot oh, no. nice. oh god. <laughs> You guys are literally perfect together. Yeah. Are they though? <laughs> What? I mean, she's older than him. <laughs> How's that gonna work? Well, so what? Don't be ageist. I'm not ageist, I'm, I'm realist. She's gonna graduate and he's still gonna be in high school. So? I'm, I mean, it's fine if it's just a fling. Well, obviously it's not just a fling. Okay, why would you even say that? It's okay, cause I'll be going to a local college and you know, he'll be here, mm -hmm. so. You know, it can work. Oh, you'll make it work. He is worth it. Oh, God. One time I saw him take his shirt off at basketball practice. Oh, he's ripped. So Starting ripped. guard. And he's an excellent yeah. player. Yeah. I'm sure he is. What is that supposed to mean? I'm just stating the obvious. <laughs> what obvious? That the guys on the basketball team are players. Why would you even say that? I'm just warning you. Simon's actually a really loyal guy. Okay, remember when he dated Tammy Dickerson mm -hmm. in junior high? They were together for like two years. Oh. Yeah. So why are they still not together? I don't know. We just started going out. I'm not gonna grill him on all his ex-girlfriends. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, you're saying too much, okay? I, for one, I think it's awesome and I'm happy for you. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Seriously, don't listen to her. Yeah. Plus, he's a jock and we all know what that means. What does that mean? That he's not very smart. Why would you even say that? You're like racist against jocks. <laughs> it's common sense, okay? They spend too much time focused on sports, not enough time focused on school. He may be ripped, but he's not ripped up here. It's actually not true. Simon is very smart. He made honor roll four years in a row. Oh, yeah. Oh, there goes your theory. He is smart. Sounds like you owe an apology. Have you ever dated a guy on the honor roll before? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they mansplain everything. <laughs> they think they're so much smarter than you. Smarter okay, you need to stop being such a downer. You're, You're supposed to be her friend. I am being her friend, okay? I'm making sure she doesn't make a huge mistake. You guys are just yes men, telling her exactly what she wants to hear, but I'm actually telling her what she needs. To hear. She does not need to hear. I thing. think she does. And I think that you like him. Who? Simon. <laughs> no. <laughs> then why are you trying so hard to sabotage her relationship? I just want her to go into this with open eyes. Well, she has an open heart, and that's just as important, okay? And your stupid little theories are just so stupid. All you've been using are stereotypes. Yeah, and I agree. I think you secretly like him. I don't secretly like him. Okay, then you not secretly like I him. I don't like him. Yeah, you do. No! And you're jealous. No! Yeah, because she has a boyfriend, and you've never had a boyfriend before, so you're just so jealous. I don't need a boyfriend! But you like him. No, I don't! Yeah, you do, just admit it! I do not! Of course you do! Shut up, just drop it, okay? Then just admit it's it! It's okay if you like him, I don't mind if you do. I don't like him, I like you! She's older than you. Probably won't work. Good afternoon. 
I'm looking for the owner of the blue Mini Cooper parked outside. License plate CA761P. That's me. Are you the sole driver of this vehicle? Yeah, did I run a red light or something? We had a complaint. What kind of complaint? Can I see your driver's license, please? Thanks. There was a report that the driver of the vehicle registered to her address was uh, seen making lewd gestures at another driver on the road. I'm sorry, I don't know how to respond. What, it, what, is, what does lewd mean? Uh, inappropriate, crude and offensive. Uh, that definitely wasn't me. And no one else has been driving your car. No, I'm the only driver. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, maybe they got the wrong license plate. Okay, thanks for your time. It's not actually illegal, but I had a complaint, so we're just following up. Okay, uh, no problem. Hi. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? We had another complaint. Of? Similar accusation. The driver of the blue Mini Cooper parked outside was seen making lewd gestures at another driver on the road, stopped at the intersection of Guilford and 12th Avenue. So is someone saying that I did this? Well, there was a description of the driver this time. Young Caucasian male with shaggy brown hair. No. Wasn't you? No. You sure? Yeah, this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. Ever. It's unusual to have two different complaints from two different people. <sighs> yeah, it sure is. And no one else has been driving your car? Just me. So for the record, you're saying that you did not do this? That is correct. Okay. I will note that in the report. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your for your service. What? Third complaint. Okay. Same as the others, the driver of your vehicle, brunette male, was seen making crude gestures at another driver stopped at an intersection. This is borderline harassment. I am not here to harass. I'm simply doing my job. Yeah, I get, I get it. But what, what even is this crude gesture? It was with the tongue. Like s someone stuck their tongue out at someone? How's that even a thing? No, it was reported as a crass and offensive wiggling of the tongue. Like how? Like that. Okay, I don't even know what that means. So I, don't, I would never do that ever. Okay, I will note that in the report. It wasn't me. There's video evidence. Really? That's not me. It appears to clearly be you. No, it's not. You're wearing the same shirt. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Black and blue? This is white and gold. It's black and blue. I see white and gold. Okay, you need to stop this nonsense. I am an upstanding member of this community. These accusations are slanderous. I would like you to please leave my property. Okay, like I said, not technically illegal. I just hope that I don't have to come back. Well, there will be a lawsuit waiting for you if you do. Have a good day. Good day. going on? Um, I guess you could call it bullying. 
You want to tell me about it? Okay. Um, so these girls, they made an anonymous Instagram account about me where they posted my pictures, but they, um, they've added mean sayings to them. It's called... Why is she here? Oh, that's Jennifer. It's my daughter. It's take your child to work day, so she's just observing. Hey. Okay. Anyhow, you were saying about the anonymous accounts. Shall we take a look at it? Uh, sure. It's called Katie with five A's. Do you want us to investigate and help get it taken down? I guess that would be good. Honestly, Dad, I wouldn't bother. Honey. It would be best if you just observed. Okay, well I'm just saying, they'll just make another one. Please. Well, th that might actually be true. We have a zero tolerance policy. We shouldn't let it slide. Right. And so how is this affecting you? Uh, any changes in your grades? Well, I've lost 30 followers. Hmm. Perhaps a group discussion with these other girls might be helpful. Oh my god, Dad, that is literally the worst idea I've ever heard. Jennifer. I'm going to kindly ask you to refrain from contributing, as this is a private matter. Okay, well I'm just saying it's going to make it worse. Jennifer, I'm the counselor. I can handle this. Okay, I guess you know your job. I do. Child psychology. Master's degree. Great. So, Katie, there are several PBIs we can employ to help remedy your situation. What's a PBI? Positive behavior interventions, basically techniques, many of which have worked in the past. Holy frick, Dad. I am so glad I don't go to this school. <sighs> Bringing the parties together for an informal confab have proven to be a beneficial way of resolving conflict. <laughs> a confab? Jennifer. I just want people to stop making fun of me. Katie, what's your account? Jennifer, that's not appropriate. What is it? Don't give it to her. It's called Katie Klug, 12345. Jennifer, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You can wait in the library if you want to ride after school. Dad, just chill. Jennifer. Okay, I see your first problem. First of all, stop calling yourself a public figure. This is inappropriate. No, it's okay. Second of all, learn how to take a freaking selfie, okay? Why would you even post these? I don't know. Also, don't use Snapchat filters on an Instagram post. No one does that. Okay. Give me your password. No. It's, um, it's Buster One. Jennifer. That's my dog. I am just trying to help her. This is not the time nor the place. Okay, we are going to completely restart your feed, okay? Yeah. I'm going to delete all your previous posts. Jennifer, okay. please stop. No, this is what I need. Oh my God. And I'm going to teach you how to properly take a selfie, okay? Oh, yeah. Go stand over here. Come to the dartboard. Okay. We are going to contour your face. Eyebrows and just a little bit of gloss. Now smack your lips together. Perfect. Use your hair to frame your face. Okay, very nice. And ooh, Dad, could you come here and hold this above her head like a spotlight? Chin down, eyes up, and say the word prune. 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 Okay. Prune. Now look into the camera as if all the boys are in there and they're worshipping you, okay? And got it. Hashtag bullseye and post it. I love it. Wait. I've seen people lose their jobs for this kind of inappropriate Someone action. liked it already. I, I got a follower. Two. Four. <laughs> this is so cool. You're welcome. All right then, how do you feel? Really good. Okay, great. Well, uh, I guess we can wrap this up. Remember, you can come see me anytime. I just DM'd you. Can I follow you? Of course. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Next step, a boy with extreme anxiety. Do you want me to stay? Sure. Okay, thank you guys for coming. We invited you here because you are all students who have never attended a school dance. 
one of our initiatives on council this year is to reach out and get more of the student body engaged in school activities. Especially dances, because we want to make sure every single one of you gets to experience what for us is the highlight of being a bulldog. So, to start things off, we'd like to ask, what is it about school dances which makes you choose not to attend? And be completely open and honest. There's no wrong answers. So let's start with... Uh, Joseph? Oh, thank you. I personally enjoy dancing. I feel I'm a good dancer. So why have you never come? I just feel that dancing is something that should be enjoyed in the privacy of one's own home. Oh. Dancing? Dancing invites temptation. In what way do you mean? Sometimes there's touching. Okay. And students risk being exposed to being worldly. What's wrong with remaining innocent? Nothing, I guess. And uh, Raven, what about you? Why have you never been to a school dance? I'd rather not say. We value your opinion. I don't want to offend anybody. Well, like I said, be open and honest. This is a safe place to express yourself. We just want to hear what you think about our school dances. Why would I pay $20 to come here at night? and sit in a corner while I listen to crappy music and watch people I hate grind up against each other. Alrighty then. Noted. And, um, Dad, what about you? Why have you never been to a dance? It's the girls, they're not hot enough. The girls? They're ugly. But you haven't been to the dances. I mean just the girls of the school in general. Okay. Thank you for opening up. And Brian, what about you? Why have you never been to a school dance? Are they open for everybody? Y yes, of course. Oh. I didn't know. You didn't know you could come? I, I thought that only people in the dance class could go. We put lots of reminders in the morning announcements. I'm not usually at school in the mornings. My first class doesn't start till nine. That's when the announcements come on. Guess no one comes into our room then. They're over the speakers. Anyhow, what we want to find out next is what types of themes would make you guys interested in coming out. Uh, last year, our themes were Roaring Twenties and Hollywood. <laughs> um, Dad, why don't you start us out this time? What types of themes would you like? Uh, maybe like a beach theme. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful suggestion. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah, the girls in bikinis. Bikinis? Yeah, and only the girls dance, not the guys. I'm not sure this is a high school dance you're describing. That sounds more like some kind of club. Uh, Joseph, <laughs> how about you? Any themes that would interest you? How about a family theme? Family? Everyone in their Sunday's best, parents and grandparents, welcome to chaperone. Like, like a church vibe. I'm not sure we'd be allowed to do something religious. But, good suggestion. Let's keep it flowing. Uh, Raven, are there any themes that you would find appealing in a school dance? Something literary. Wonderful. Three years ago, we did Alice in Wonderland, and I know Harry Potter was considered. <laughs> Is this like something you had in mind? More like Dante's Inferno. Da Dante's Inferno? Fire. 
damnation, souls being tortured, circles of torment, live bats. I'd buy a ticket to that. That's a very original idea. Yes, very original. We'll note that down. Noted. Brian, what would you like to see in a dance? Music. Okay. Maybe drinks, snacks, decorations, and tickets. Tickets? Yeah. These are all things we have. Oh, so you're gonna use my idea then? Yes, we are. Thank you for that. Okay, so maybe just one last question. Yeah. Okay, how about music? Um, Raven, is there any music that you would find appealing in a school dance? Death rock, post punk, dark wave, any of those? I'm not sure if I'm familiar with those ones. Bad. Uh, booty music. Booty? Could you be more specific? Big booty. The kind that bounces. By bounces, are you referring to the music or the booty? I think he means the booty. Actually, it probably wouldn't be good with the girls at this school. Excuse me? I think he's suggesting the girls at school don't have booty. Okay, I think we're done here, because this isn't really useful. Uh, uh, yeah, how about live music? Oh, yes. Great. <laughs> live wow, music. Exactly. That's, wow, that's just wonderful suggestion. Like my Grammy's church choir. Just let him nap. He'll probably be up in an hour or so. Okay. Yeah, he gets up on his own, so no need to check on him. That'll just wake him up. Is he gonna be scared that you're not here? Oh, no, no. Tyler's so easygoing. Yeah, he's used to babysitters. You'll see once you meet him. You can just play with him and he'll be happy to see you. There's games in the cupboard and he loves hungry hippos. And food? Yep, in the fridge. Lots of options. He'll eat anything. Sounds good. So Rick and I will be back around 11. Emergency numbers are by the phone. Thank you so much for coming last minute. No problem. Thanks for calling me. Yeah, you two are gonna get along famously. He just loves pretty girls. Oh, he sounds sweet. Yeah. Okay, gotta go. Thanks. Hi, Tyler. Are you my babysitter? Are you Tyler? Yep. Then, yeah? Are there two Tylers? Nope. I was expecting you to be younger. Yeah, my mom doesn't trust me. Okay. Are you making me nuggets? Sure. Do you want me to make them for you? Yes, please. Are you in my science class? Yeah. 
Are you into Hungry Hungry Hippos? Okay, we got half an hour to get this, so let's focus. Everyone on their marks. Sonia, David, this is your moment. You've just found out you're related, and your parents are trying to tear you apart, but your love is stronger. Okay? Okay, extras in the back, just um, just act natural, pretend you're having a conversation. Um, all right, drop the mic in. Camera roll. Rolling. And action. I don't care about the money. All I need is you. If we kiss, there's no going back. I don't want to go back. Hang on, yes. cut! Cut! What is going on? What's your name? In, in the back? Me? Yes, with the flashing necklace. It's Sunny. Can you... Um... I can turn it off. Yeah, it's just it's a little bit distracting. Yeah, yeah. He was just showing me. Uh, okay, just don't do that this time. Just pretend like you're enjoying your meal. Oh, how was I? Too heavy? It's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just do it again. All right, everyone on, the, on their marks, camera roll, and action. I don't care about the money. All I need is you. If we kiss, there's no going back. I don't want to go back. Cut! What? What's your name? Me? Yes, with, with the celery. I'm Debbie. Okay, you don't need to actually eat the food. Like, just just pretend. It's It needs to be silent, all right? Why are we even using celery? I can take it out. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Just just leave it. We'll just do it again. A any notes for me at all? No, no. Okay. It's, it's fine. Okay. We'll, we'll just do it again. All right. All set. Extras, just just sit there uh, on your marks. You don't have to actually do anything. You know? Okay. Camera roll. And action. I don't care about the money. All I need is you. If we kiss, there's no going back. I don't want to go back. Cut! What are you guys doing? Us? Yes. Nothing. You told us to do nothing? Yeah, but you can't look into the camera. It does- uh... oh, Okay. You, you just can't do it, alright? Sorry, we didn't know. Okay, well now you do. Alright, I'm filming a love scene here. Am I sweating? How did you like what I did? Yes, yeah, fine. Okay, this is emotional. It's a very private moment. So why don't you two just, just pretend you're having your own quiet romantic dinner, okay? All right, sounds good. Okay, all set. Camera roll and... Rolling. Action. I don't care about the money. All I need is you. If we kiss, there's no going back. I don't want to go back. Okay, what the hell is that? Me? Yes. I'm hitting him with my bread. Why? It's, it's romantic. How is that romantic? Y you know, like, like a playful, like a flirty, kind of like bad boy, you know? Do we have anybody else? The others canceled. They're volunteering. <sighs> okay, we'll just lose the bread. Okay, we'll have drinks, sip quietly, and focus on each other. When was it the restaurant was empty? Okay, we showed an exterior shot where the restaurant's clearly full. We have to have someone there. It, it's just too obvious that we don't. All right, let's just try it again. We're, camera roll. We're gonna get it this time. And action! I don't care about the money. All I need is you. If we kiss, there's no going back. I don't want to go back. Cut! What? What is going on? Why is there blood? It's oh my hand. god, I'm bleeding! Oh my god, she's bleeding! I can see that! I think we need a bandage. I don't like blood, someone help me! Keep your hand raised. Oh my god. Can we get first aid in here? <laughs> That's a wrap! <laughs>